All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome back to the tutorial. So I just got back from my uh, backpacking trip for a couple days, only a few hours ago. So I figured we'll uh, start this off right. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I wasn't quite happy with this couch. I mean, some of you probably weren't either. So we're just going to see what we can do to fix it, because I just, I don't know. Something, something's up with it, and I'm not, I'm not too happy. So we're just going to isolate it here and just start to work. All right, so... First thing I think we need to do here is edit some of these polys here, some of these verts, and just sort of bring them down, I guess. We want to make this a pretty substantial uh, curve. All right, and then maybe grab. The uh, top layer here as well. Just press Q so we don't accidentally move something. Okay, and just make sure we deselect sort of everything else. So we should just have those and we do. All right, let's uh, maybe drag those down a bit, and then. see what we want to do. Looks good for those. So deselect these ones and then we'll drag these sort of over here a bit. And let's actually grab this row again. Make sure we deselect anything extra. And we're just going to sort of bring it back here. Now it does have two uh, sort of lines to it, but that should be fine. All right, let's just symmetry modify this and see what it has. Okay, so we're looking a lot better. Still not a fan of that line though, so I think we're gonna do something about it. Let's go to vertices here, and we're just going to target weld all these together. Okay, well we're gonna try to weld them or do something with them. There we go. Just because I, I don't want that line there. I've determined it's just not worth my my time. All right, and let's see what we can do in this corner here. We have some additional stuff. All right, let's um, talk a little that to that and see if that gets rid of it. Oh, there we go, that's not so bad. So now we have this kind of nice little curve uh, in the middle. All right, maybe we'll make this not quite so uh, not quite so curved there. Actually, that looks much better. All right, and then let me see. Try to pull up my reference real quick. I lost it. Alright, and actually we're just going to go ahead and kill uh, this entire seam that we had going on. It just, it wasn't working. So we're just going to target weld all these together. Very carefully, I might add. We'll just go bottom to the top. You can weld them using the weld tool if you want. But uh, you may accidentally weld something together, and if you don't know what you did, it could cost you more time than it's worth to repair it. And because I'm doing this sort of live, uh, that would mean you'd have to watch me talk for a heck of a lot longer. And I'm sure some of you would rather avoid such a terrible, terrible fate. All right, I think we're, I think we're almost good. Let's see what we got here. All right, everybody, cross your fingers. Bam, the seam is gone. Nice. Okay. Looks much better. Now, <clears throat> couch cushions. Um, we just need to bring these out. They're just, they don't look good the way they are. So we're going to, mm, what are we going to do? Grab these. Just give them a bit more of a rounded look. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, that really doesn't round it out much. Okay, grab these and sort of balloon it out. I learned some new techniques while I was looking at this, um, but unfortunately I've already done this, so most of you won't want to redo it as such. I'm just trying to fix this one. Okay. Maybe we'll grab these and just bump them up a bit more. Give it a bit more rounded cushion-like feel. <clears throat> there we go. And then these sides as well could use some some love. So let's go into this front view here and grab these. So there we go. And we'll just sort of drag them out and drag them out. Okay. And of course, let's just drag this out a little bit more. There we go. Much better. Okay. And let me see. Now for these pillows, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure. These aren't actually that bad. It's not amazing either, but we may uh, revisit them in the future. But for now, I think we can survive. All right, let's um, end isolation mode, go to our camera. And yeah, that looks 100% better from what it did. It just seemed too, I don't know, sort of weird last time. I'll probably do another video on how to make a couch um, where I'll show you the couple of techniques I learned uh, recently. So, like, as in after I did this recently. All right, um, <clears throat> let's let me just look at my video here. All right, there's like some sort of table thing over here uh, with this chair. So we're just gonna do a quick table. Doesn't much really matter what we've got going on here. Okay, actually let's grab this chair and we will drag it back into here okay grab the table and drag it so that's kind of you know halfway towards the chair and we'll just select these and isolate selection that way we just have the uh, little table and chair area so there's not really much to this we're just going to do some quick box uh, polygon modeling and again you'll never see this so you don't even really have to do this if you don't want to. Okay. Let's just control click or we just loop. Actually ring is what we want. Uh, chamfer. All right. Go to the top here. Give this a little bevel. All right. Maybe a uh, little turbo smooth arena. Okay, and we've got to add a couple more pieces of geometry in here. So let's grab this and inset it. Okay, and then we need to fix the corners here. So let's um, loop ring and then deselect the uh, inside edges here. And give it a nice chamfer. Let's check on top. Okay, so we can hmm, chamfer that. Same size. Turbo smooth, then we should be mostly good. What do we do? We don't kill something. Oh, uh, no, we did. We don't want to do that actually. I lied. Let's delete that chamfer. I actually think what we want to do is just this one. Let's see if that does it. Hmm. Probably should have thought of that ahead of time. Well, I don't really care, honestly. I'll probably just leave it like it is anyway. You're never going to see this thing. I'm not even planning on putting um, legs on it, so. I don't really know if we need that turbo smooth. I don't think we do. Okay, there we go. 
so that'll basically be the table, and then you can you can add a little center section to it. Uh, but again, we're just doing visualization here, so what you can't see, you know, there's no point in modeling it. Put that there. Okay, bring the radius down. And see here I go, I'm saying that, and yet I'm actually modeling it, of course. Well, we're not going to do it very well. We're just going to make a stick and a stick. And we're going to give it another stick. Let me get off that. Bam. There we go. Just in case someone may happen to see it. That'll just shrug off any questions they have. But again, you can make that a little better if you want, but it's not going to really show up in our scene except for um, in our camera, just a little bit right there. Now let's convert this to an original, uh, make an original poly again, and select the vertices here, and we're just going to shrink it down. It's a bit too thick for my liking. Okay, let's just save this as number 20. Oh, I forgot what scene I'm on, so that'll have to work. And we can grab all this, press E, and just rotate it at an angle. Just like so, just so it sort of matches to give you that sort of little feeling of it's different. And maybe we can grab uh, the top here. And we'll just move it up a bit, just to about there. And you can move that up as well as move this little piece up too. There we go. Okay, so you have the table kind of <clears throat> placed accordingly. Excellent. All right. Uh, so we got the couch, got that. Uh, let's do, I guess we can start on the chair. Mm. So this is what we're remodeling this chair right here. So, <clears throat> best way to do the chair, let's think. All right, uh, I think this will work. If not, oh well. Ugh, excuse me. All right, so do a little chair here, kind of like that. All right, um, let's go into our top viewport and position it to where sort of the largest portion of the chair is just a bit Oh, that's actually pretty damn close. I want it so where the, the chair arms are <clears throat> a little bit bigger than the drawers. So we're going to say a radius of 150, radius 1 of 186. Uh, height doesn't matter too much right now. Uh, so let's convert to an editable poly here. And let's select polygons and we'll delete. Um, let's see. What do we want to delete? I want to delete this many. So a little over half. <clears throat> Come to our front viewport here, go to the camera. And let's just raise this up until it's about where it should be. So a little bit, a little over the table. All right, and then we'll just um, back up. I'm just trying to get the, the scene sort of set up just so I can get my scale correct. And it sort of comes down a little bit. Hopefully it'll shrink down, of course not. All right, um, let's go to perspective here. Let's see how much room we have on the bottom. That's not bad. That's pretty close. Okay. So now what we need to do is uh, fill in these sections that we have here. So let's go to polygon creation tool, um, create, and let's just create some geometry in here. Uh, so nice to be able to move while creating geometry. It used to be back in the day that uh, you couldn't do that. And let me tell you, was that a pain? When you couldn't move anything at all when you were moving or selecting things, it was a nightmare. All right, so just come in here. 
and select all this stuff. All right, so what we need to do now is just go into our border here and we'll just cap these. We probably should have done the symmetry of this. <laughs> made up made our lives a little easier. Actually, what we can do here is just cut or cap and then we'll just go to Ezra Poly, cut, and we'll just cut these in. Probably the easiest method anyway. Okay. Yeah, much easier. We should have done this. But I guess that's what comes with practice, is when you actually learn what to do and why you should do it. All right, so <clears throat> now we wanted to make the inside of the chair, let me get out of the cut mode here. So we want to make the inside sort of rounded. So let's select this here and just bring it down. So we kind of have that sort of nice rounded looking edge. And then we can oops, shift con click, connect. We'll do one connection and we'll deselect all this stuff here. We'll bring this to kind of, you know, just give it a bit of a round. Perfect. Uh, now what we need to do is grab, let's see, these four vertices and these four. Actually, five. Why do I have one, two, three? Ah, oh, there's fifth. Make sure that's all we've got. And we'll just move these both out a little bit just to give it some sort of, uh, well, some sort of form, I guess. And now we can, <clears throat> let's see what we want to do here. We want to, let's see, I'm imagining there's a seam along this edge here, so. Let's just select all these. And then do the same over here. We're going to see if this works. If not, we're actually going to save right now. And we'll find out. Okay. Let's extrude this. Uh, we want to not be that big. So this was sort of something I learned. So we're going to extrude in once. And we extrude back out. And now, if we go to Turbo Smooth, although it looks sort of weird, I'm hoping we have. Well, we do have some sort of seam. So it wasn't a complete failure. Actually, that's not bad. It is sort of what we want. Just. We need to do a bit of refining here. All right, so let's grab um, at least the hope tool is what we're looking for. Okay, and deselect this extra stuff. Let's so we'll just do that to make sure we don't have anything. Extrude and give it a tiny little extrusion. All right, that should resolve that problem. <clears throat> What is up over here? Hmm. Okay, I'm not a fan of this technique, so we're gonna undo what we did there. All right, so we're going to actually load. Um, don't save it. Cruise cabin 20. Good deal. So now we're sort of right back where we started. The power of saving. Um, we're going to grab these, and this is the second technique I wanted to try. Um, so if we come down here, there should be a, let's see, where is it? Okay, so we're going to come here to create shape from selection, we'll call it shape 01. And if we go into said shape, Let's see, rendering enable in the viewport. This can sort of make a little seam for us. Now, I don't quite know what we got going on here, but I think we can resolve it. 
let's just make this a bezier corner. And let me move that down. Okay, and then move this one sort of over. And not quite over that direction. But over this direction. Alright, this is problematic. And so this is sort of why you uh, <laughs> why you experiment. All right, so we sort of have those. And now if we go to what do we want to do? Um, let's add some geometry here. So connect. We're going to slide this one down. All right, that'll resolve that. We're going to, let's see, grab that, chamfer it, quite small, which should resolve that. I want to take these and inset them just a little bit and do the same with these. Inset, okay. And what are we missing? I don't know. Let's find out. So turbo smooth. Well, I'll give it two. Oh, well, that actually sort of worked. Okay. So we have that now. Let's um, let's go to edit poly. Make an edit poly with the modifier stack here. Let's actually delete this uh, old thing we had. I think we need to do it with a bit more um, a bit more geometry here. All right, so that'll be good there. And let's come over here. Okay, let us begin to pray. Actually, no, I don't really take into all that stuff, but what do I want to do? This one? I need to somehow do this. All right, two seams. And let's create shape. Ah. Oh, that sort of worked. What do you know? I mean, yeah, that had. Did we miss a. Damn it, we missed some polygons. Crap. Alright. Uh, back to edge mode here. Actually. Cool. Just delete that. Edge mode. Hmm. Do create shape here we go and let's just click these for some reason they were not included in our initial selection and now we can create shape and bam we have a basically perfect seam at least something you never be able to tell wasn't a seam all right well that worked pretty awesome so uh, let's <coughs> start on the top here, or the whatever other shape you want to call it. So we're just going to do sort of a, let's see, a cushion, probably about that big, and we'll make it probably about that tall. So just sink it here. All right. Looks pretty good to me. Let's give it some additional geometry here. So convert to an editable poly. Connect and we'll give it maybe uh, seven connections should do for now. And let's just move these so they 
touch in the appropriate areas. Okay, and we can move back a bit. All right, and we'll actually yeah, do these as well. Okay, now what we need to do is let's add some additional geometry in here. We don't quite have enough with seven. So we'll just do connection, but not seven more, just one more should do it. All right, connect, connect, and we're gonna do this all the way around just to give us sort of double the um, double the amount of geometry to work with. And then we'll figure out how to do the whole texturing whiz bang stuff uh, shortly. So that should be uh, no fun. So honestly, I don't like texturing. Sometimes it's cool. Most of the time it's just tedious. I just think that's the way it is and that's the way it'll always be. So for those of you who love it, well, I wish I could love it as you do. Maybe just shift these over a bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. After all, we're just doing it for free anyway. All right, maybe grab these. Press R, shift to drag it in. Okay. Maybe press 2, give these babies an extra connection here. Okay. And we will sort of move these into position here. Actually, I should do it. That should be fine. Bingo. And let's do a repeat over here. Something like that and something like that. Maybe bring it over a bit more to the high point. Perfect. All right, now let's see what we've got here in perspective. We've got an interesting thing. All right, that's kind of looking chair-like. Uh, one of the things we probably should have done before, yeah, we have the power of doing FFDs. Four by four by four, I just want to bring, um, let's click the control points here. I want to bring the front of the chair sort of out a bit, kind of like that, and that. The problem is that would mess up my seams, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So we can grab all of this group, and now let's do an FFD on the group, and it should work. Problem is, it doesn't work exactly. All right, we're not going to do that. We'll, uh, oops, crap. We'll think on that one. I don't think it looks bad right now, so I don't think we have a problem. But okay. Well, we're not back to where we started. There we go. Now we're back to where we started. Okay. So let's um. Apply some connections here. Uh, why are we doing this? We need to go here, connect twice, and no slide. Well, we do want a good sized pinch. All right, and then let's grow that. One up and control click. I hate that when it does the screen clipping stuff. Okay, just select everything and we'll deselect what we don't need. Okay, we do need some of that. Okay, so we got the whole thing selected. Don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. That should be everything we need. 
Okay, so we're going to connect or chamfer. I give it a small chamfer. Okay, and I think we need to do these. So let's isolate the selection here. Let's click on this one. We're going to grow it. Deselect those and those and chamfer. Yeah, that's not good. We don't have. What the hell happened? Hmm. No, that's not going to work. Oh, man. Crap. Okay. Um, let's let's finish what we're doing, and then we'll deal with that. Grow. Chamfer. Okay. I must have missed a selection because that's the only way this happens. It always happens to me. Okay, and we're just gonna drag it over there. Got it, and drag it over there. Okay. Now we need to figure out what happened. So how we got extra. Oh. Apparently we had selected some sort of wrong, completely wrong line here. And it is on the wrong side, remarkably. That's not what I want to do. Damn it. All right, backspace it. Backspace, backspace, go to your vertices here and backspace all these puppies. Backspacing is different than deleting because it doesn't kill all your associated geometry. Not that well, though. All right. Crap, 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 crap. <clears throat> so let's do some target welding. Basically, we have to do that for each and every one. And that'll get rid of it. This, my friends, is why you don't make mistakes. Or at least you try to mitigate them as much as humanly possible, because this is no fun. You know what? Let me just weld all these really. And just call it a day. And yeah, it'll be a little bit off, but honestly, it won't be that bad. And it'll save us time. And time is of the essence, especially when I'm recording. And it's cold. It was um, like 30, 30 degrees, and I was hammock camping over the, uh, the weekend. So that was really chilly and now it was chilly in my house so it's like 60 something degrees inside which is cold and yeah it's cold on me too okay so here we go here's what we've got I remember we're not gonna see all of it so keep that in mind I do have some issue here though and there it is you can always tell when there's an issue when that Stupid turbo weld doesn't want to work. Or turbo smooth, whatever it's called. Alright. Good. Very good. And let's actually press Q and grab all those. Deselect all those. Inset. Make sure our inset's right. Okay. And let's try turbo smoothing again. Give us a nice clean edge down there. And we could do the same for up here if we so desired. And I think we do desire. All right, so select all these guys. Inset. And there we go. Now we got a nice cushion-like structure. We can do 
ffd 4x4 and grab the control points here on the top and press w and bring them up to make a cushion maybe we'll increase these ones in the front here as well and then grab these babies bring them out okay and heck we'll even grab these on the side don't worry about that and just sort of give them a slight bulge okay, so these are just a couple different ways of making furniture now obviously I haven't done this too much but uh, it does work okay so do an edit poly modifier and edge come in here click and Control double click and let's see what we've got. We did not get a ring all the way around, unfortunately. All right, that's better. We got one over there, all over there. Ooh, that almost worked perfect. Okay, and then we need additional ones here. So that should have made a ring all the way around. Good. Now all we have to do is just deselect this stuff inside. And we should be good to go. Yes, sir, Bob. Yeah, the reason it's selecting all this is just because it's part of that same loop. But I sort of want to cut it off. Just come in here. Very carefully. You don't want to deselect anything else. We'll have to do this all over again. And now that I'm saying that, I'm almost assured to be deselecting the wrong thing. Alright. Alright. Looks sort of good to me. And I guess we should probably do the bottom one as well. Oops. Alright, that should be most of the side with the exception of this area here. And one, two, come on. Alright, I think that's it. Alright, create shape. Let's see what we did. I think we got it all. Yes, we did. Nice. Okay, so there, now we have a perfect little seam there. And if we unhide all, or end isolation mode, now we've got basically that, which looks pretty good to me. Okay, all our seams are there. Um, now all we need to do is add some legs to this chair and we'll be in business. Let's just isolate selection. I know we only got two of them, um, but that's cool. Actually, hell, we'll just end isolate. We'll use the same ones we used for couch because they should be almost identical. So let's do let's see, sort of a leg here-ish. Okay, drag it over. Here, all right. Then we'll do some legs here, and sort of on the same side over here. Let's just right in line with that. Okay. Now just grab all of your legs here that we created. So you can one, two, three, and four. And let's just drag them up to make sure they fit. Press R. And scale them so they're perfect. All right. Interestingly, our legs are not working over here. Huh. 
must have accidentally clicked that at some point. Oh, I don't recall clicking that. Nope, I definitely must have clicked that. Okay. Oh, there you go. Just move these down a little bit. Okay, good. Alright, and there we go. Let's um, just select all those things there and make them gray. So, and we are nearing in the end. We are nearing uh, the end, guys. So, uh, I know it's taking a bit longer than I initially thought, but hey, I hope you guys are learning something at least, because I can guarantee you I am. Alright, um, so I think I'll end it here. Um, in the next part, I think we'll do some maybe a little plant, you know, here. And uh, I think, fingers crossed, that is all the modeling. So I will see you guys next time.